This is insane. It's like picking tennis ball apples out here this morning. <laughs> I guess I'll keep collecting them. Let's see how many more I find. Good morning, guys. So I was planning on doing a cap like a bottle cap collecting challenge this morning. <laughs> um, but I think somebody cleaned here recently, and I've also cleaned here recently. So as I started looking around walking, I haven't found many, but I have been finding another strange object, much stranger, I think, than bottle caps, which are sort of uh, discarded tennis balls. So I'll explain why those are here and why I think there's so many here uh, once I'm done collecting. But I'm going to hike up the beach couple miles and just see how many tennis balls we can collect and talk about what's going on with some of these very specific unique types of uh, ocean pollution because this is what happens when you beach clean in specific places you start to notice trends and strange ones at that sometimes so let's uh keep on walking and count how many tennis balls apparently we're collecting today All right, honestly, this tennis ball count is getting ridiculous, so I'm going to speed up this, uh, I guess, montage for you and so we can get to the uh, full count and recap and review. So uh, let's speed it along. Well, that was absolutely wild stuff. But like I said, I think really collecting these different types of trash, it does sort of give you a better understanding of where it's coming from and why it's coming from certain places. And as I said at the beginning, when I set out today, I did not expect to go on a tennis ball beach clean excursion collection extravaganza, yet here I am. And I haven't even counted these out yet. But this is insane. This is this is madness. Like, 
I don't even know how much weight there is in tennis balls here, but let's count them and, and see uh, how many there actually are. Here we go. Here's the big dump. That's insane. Well, the total count is in, and I'm disturbed to say that it's 45 total tennis balls. So congratulations to whoever on my social media accounts, my Instagram and or Twitter and Facebook, who guessed closest to 45 without going over. Your name is in the top whatever corner here. Uh, and that's amazing because I, as I said when I set out today, did not expect to find, did I just say 45 tennis balls? That's insane. And just to clarify, I think I've, I, I'm putting the pieces to the, of the puzzle together because I know that there are private tennis courts along the cliff sides here. So it makes sense that you would find this many tennis balls. Um, and that's what you often find with different types of beach trash. It makes sense. If there are summer crowds that come to certain areas of beach, you find summer beach trash. If there's a lot of fishing, you find fishing line and that sort of stuff and uh, bait containers. If there's people playing tennis, you find uh, an apocalyptic amount of tennis balls. <laughs> um, in terms of why these are bad for marine environments, uh, I don't know a lot about tennis balls. So I would be really curious, anybody who is watching this who is a tennis player yourself or knows anything more, what you think, because that's often what I say. People think that I know everything about beach trash, but I'm as shocked as anybody else when I find some of this stuff. So if you have thoughts or ideas or comments, um, please do share them in the comments because I'd love to get insight as to more about the materials uh, that tennis balls are made from because I know for sure that they're not all good. Uh, just some very rudimentary research. Uh, I know that obviously there's rubber involved, which I read to varying degrees that can be good or bad for, or not good, but it could be worse for the environment in some ways than maybe some other materials. But also there's glues involved, which I've read are bad for the environment. There's also uh, certain types of nylon, um, I guess on the, the outsides maybe, that can be not so great. So that makes sense. This does sort of look like a synthetic fiber. I know tra more traditional tennis balls, obviously they might use wool or something like that, right? Um, so they're definitely worth picking up. And I think that's, again, the point is where you see this type of stuff. Somebody has to pick it up. And a lot of these are so degraded. I mean, look at, this is a barely recognizable tennis ball, right? Because the, the sort of covering has been shed and we're left with sort of this, I don't know, earthy, rocky core of a tennis ball. But this is probably pretty old and there's lots of others that have degraded similarly, but they're still left behind as as waste and I again would imagine that what these degrade into what these actually break out down into the chemicals within these probably aren't too great for marine environments and creatures but again that's why I would love to know if you have ideas in the comments but you can sort of see the process of the breakdown here right normal tennis ball and then all of a sudden it starts to fray and then before you know it you just have these these rocky quarry uh, rubber shells essentially and there's a ton more I mean these are just the ones I was able to get into a lot of them like I said were along the cliffs and I know, uh, again, it's not just people playing tennis. I know a lot of people use these uh, for their dogs and that sort of thing. So maybe there are little things that we can do as well. I mean, obviously people aren't gonna stop playing tennis, but you know, ideally, ultimately, maybe more sustainable materials to make tennis balls. I don't know, this is why I want more people's input, um, but picking them up where you see them, maybe not using tennis balls with your dogs, because I know that those get left behind, or if people just leave them when they get sort of chewed up. Uh, sticks I've heard have worked for centuries so maybe maybe just sticks or something like that again sticks are much more sustainable right because they're part of the environment so I don't know uh, but I thought it was really interesting and that's sort of again one of the core ideas of why I do these videos is to just get more feedback and input and, and get more conversations going in terms of what other people notice and sharing what they know last week for example when I did the balloon collection beach clean I collected, I forget how many, it was 20 something balloons. It was something crazy. Um, and I, I know that they're bad because animals can get tangled in them and that sort of stuff. But I learned a lot more just from people commenting on, on Reddit or, or wherever. And one of the commenters mentioned how mylar balloons, which I, I knew weren't great, uh, but I wasn't sure where I read that or why. Uh, but he wrote about how mylar balloons can get tangled in power lines and they, they because of the I guess the metal material in them or something, they heat up the air and they can destroy power lines or something and it costs tons of money every year. 
I had no idea about that. And he said that he worked for a utility company. That's how he, he, he knows about it. It's like a constant battle or something. So it's really interesting to hear more about. And, and it's these types of experiences that I think are really interesting to sort of, again, just grow the informational uh, sort of, I guess, understanding of what more we need to do or, or maybe change ultimately. So really cool to see, really interesting to hear. So once more, I would love to get uh, more feedback on what's going on with tennis balls exactly, because uh, I found a lot of them today. So uh, thanks so much for watching as always. It's been really fun to make more of these videos as we get more and more views and subscribers. I think we've tripled our subscribers since the summer, which is pretty crazy. And a lot of the videos, there's been great feedback and, like I said, commentary. So thank you so much for uh, watching and subscribing. If you like this sort of weird stuff, uh, please do subscribe. If you hit the bell below the video, too, in addition to subscribing, you'll actually get notifications, apparently, when I do videos. I'm kind of a noob when it comes to this sort of stuff. I'm much better at beach cleaning than I am the <laughs> marketing aspect of all this because that's really what I'm here for is just sharing these crazy wild adventures. They're too the stuff I find is too crazy for me not to share. So that's why I like to uh, share my experiences. So yeah, please uh, subscribe if you like this and share with other people who might have input or information as well. Yeah, thanks again so much for watching. Uh, subscribe, share all that good stuff. And uh, until next time, stay safe out there, be well, clean well, and as always, uh, hope to see you on the beach soon.